Sikha we will be learning today is in Lakut Sikha Schele Kuchav Gimel, the third Sikha to Parshas Kairach. The Sikha talks about Chayr, Chayr of an animal. The din is that any firstborn of a kosher animal, whether it's a goat or a sheep, is a Chayr. And there's a special din of a Chayr. A Chayr is a Korban. Other Korbanas that you bring, you take a regular animal, which is Chum, not holy, it's a regular animal, and you have to be magdish it. You make it holy and it becomes a korban, whether it's you make it into a korban oiler, a korban chatos, a korban shlomi, whatever it is. But khair, the fact that it's a firstborn from the animal is already automatically holy. And it has the gdusha of a korban and you have to give it to the kain actually, and it has to be brought as a korban, as a sacrifice on the mizbeach. And as we see, it has a din like a korban shlomi. And it depends, it's negated to certain dinim. So let's start the Sikhe. In the Heintek Esedre, Zog the Torah, the Din from Pcheir Sheir, Pcheir Kesev, Pcheir Reis. In this week's Sedre, the Torah talks about the Din of a firstborn of an ox, firstborn sheep, firstborn goat. And the Torah says, as lay sipode, you can't redeem them. In other words, you can't just take them and have them be a regular animal that you shecht and you eat. That means when you redeem them, that it should be exchanged for something else. And this animal will be whole, we call it, regular animal. They can't do that. They are holy. And what should you do is to bring it as a korban. And the Pasuk says, as domam tizrik. And when you bring it a korban, you have to sprinkle the blood on them as bayar game, etc. Peschelbom takti. And the chel of the sp certain specific fats, you have to be makrib on them as bayar. That's like any korban. And then the Pasuk continues, psorem yilcho. And the meat yilcho should be to you. The meat should be yours. To the Kayanim, to the Kayanim, and it'll be yours like like the breast that you wave, and like the the shake, which is the the, the thigh, the right thigh. Shake Yomim is the right thigh. These are things that these are parts of meat that are similar to a Korb Shlomim, should be to you. That means that just the way we'll say the Rasha in a second. But just the way a korban shlomim, which is different than the korban oila. Korban oila, the whole animal is burnt on the mizbeach, everything with the meat. Other kabbanas, only the blood was sprinkled on the mizbeach. The certain fats were brought on the mizbeach, and the rest was the meat. And the meat was able to be eaten. Some meat was only eaten by the kayanim, and some meat, like a shlomim, etc., and the same thing of chayir, could be eaten by other members of the family of the kayan, not only the kayan himself. So here the Pesach says that when you have the prayer of a sheir, ox, or a sheep, or a goat, they're holy, you have to bring the blood sprinkle on the mezbeach, you have to be makrib the fats, and the meat is yours. Like the chozet nuf, chazayat nuf, yomin, which is of other kabonas that the meat is yours, these are also kabonas yours. Shtel tzich rashev devet, as rashev quotes from the Pesach, the words that this is your meat, but he quotes the words, like the chose, which is the breast that was waved, and the thigh, the right thigh. And his mafarish explains, what does the Torah mean with that? That means, it's like these parts of the animal, shall shlomim, of a korm shlomim. A korm shlomim is a korm that a person wants to give to Hashem, and there's a certain deen there, the meat of the korm shlomim, could be eaten by the Kayanim, Lineshayim to their wives, Livneim to their children, or Lavdeim to their slaves. All of them could eat part of this meat. And how long can you eat it? We know that Karbonas have certain time limits that must be eaten. And if you don't eat it by that time, it's nicer. So there are certain Karbonas that you could only eat for a day and a night. The day that you brought it and that night. And by the morning, you can't eat it anymore. Certain ones could be two days and a night. Shlomim could be eaten two days and a night. So the Pesach, so Rashi says that what the Pesach means is that this could be eaten, first of all, by who? By the Kayanim and the wives and the children and Avodim. And for how long? Like Shlom, Shlomim is eaten for two days and one night. So to the Pcheir, the firstborn, could be eaten for two days and one night. So the Rebbe has the Shaila, we have to understand Rasha says this is like Shlomim, he gives two details. 
Number one, ver can First, he says, who could eat the shlomim? The kayanim, shayim, levneim, labdeim. The kayanim, their wives, the children, their avodim, the slaves. And then he says a second thing, ven ze ven gesen. When you could eat them? Vishnei yomim v'lai lechot. Two days and one night, you could eat shlomim. And then, when his Messiah plays in Tempra, when he finishes, that a prayer is the same way as the shlomim, he only says one of the two details. Af ha prayer, nechel shnei yomim v'lai lechot. So to the prayer is eaten for two days and one night. So he tries to compare prayer. He says the Pasik is telling us to compare prayer to Shlomim. And by Shlomim, he says two things that the Shlomim could be eaten by who? By the Kayanim and by the wives and the children and the Avodim. And the second thing, for how long? Two days and one night. And he, when he comes to end off and says so too, by a prayer, he only says one of the two. How long it could be eaten? A prayer could be eaten only for two days and one night. He's too so it's hard to understand. The fact that Asha didn't write by prayer also the fact that it could be eaten by Kayanim and wives and the children of Odin. Maybe because Rasha holds it by a prayer, it's not like that. By a prayer, this din doesn't apply. A prayer is Nechel, nor Zichrakuna. Maybe Rasha holds that a prayer is only eaten by the males, the Kayanim, the males, but not the females, and not, not the Avodim, etc., etc. Maybe Rasha holds like that. And that's why Rasha doesn't say it. And there is an opinion like that. We do find, the Rebbe says in the order three, there is an, an opinion in the Dorim, etc., etc., that we have that. So maybe if Rasha holds that, and that's the reason why Rasha didn't write that detail by prayer. So he shouldn't have brought the Shlomim. The whole thing is bringing Shlomim. The Posik is not talking about Shlomim. He's bringing the, the idea of what's happening by Shlomim because he wants to compare prayer to Shlomim. He's teaching that the Posik is comparing prayer to Shlomim. So if Chayyad does not have that din of Shlomim that it could be eaten by everybody, all these people, then why did they bring it by Shlomim? But, and on the other hand, if he means to compare it to Shlomim, that Chayyad also has this din that it could be eaten by the Kayanim, the wives and the children, and the Avodim, so why doesn't he mention it by Chayyad? If he mentioned the two by Shlomim, why doesn't he mention two by Chayyad? If he holds up Chayyad, it's the same way. And if he holds by is not the same way, then why does he mention by Shlomim here? What's it in the here? That's by Shlomim. Well, move on. It's understood that mechanic zogen. You can't say as by letters. Gil mekatsa zayin bil shein is Rashi mashmit adin. You can't say because Rashi wants to be short. He doesn't want to go into many details. That's why Rashi didn't finish off with the second detail. Makes no sense. Sometimes the expression you say bekitzer, you say it very short, but not to skip a din. He's saying something and he's saying something wrong, so to speak. That he's saying it because he doesn't want to go into length. So that's why he would skip it in. But Nesavale, besides that, you can't say that he wants to be make it short. The visa, if the whole idea is he doesn't want to go into so much length, when he compares it to prayer, he should have not mentioned even the other detail that it could be eaten for two days and one night. He should have he brought the dinim, the, these two dinim by Shlomim, and he should have said, Afa so it was a prayer. And that would be even shorter. In other words, if Rasha holds that both dinim do apply to prayer, he just skipped one because he wants to be short. He should have skipped the other one too. He should have just said the two dinim by Shlomim and say just like by Shlomim, so too is Vapcher. Or the Bechlalu is lost in the see of Vapcher. Or maybe not even finish saying so to Vapcher. The Taish is the Posik, but the Posik says Vapcher. And the Posik says like certain thing. And Rasha says it means like Shlomim. And he should have mentioned the two dinim by Shlomim. And that's it, not even. End off and so to Babchayr. It's self understood. If Rasha wants to be short, obviously Rasha is not skipping this because he wants to be short. So we don't understand how come when Rasha says it's compared to Shlomim, by Shlomim he brings the two dinim, and by Babchayr he only brings one of the two. It me is no grasse. The question is even stronger. The from them, Pirish Rasha is in Sifri and Gemara. The source of this Pirish, this shot of Rasha, is in Sifri and in the Gemara. And in the source of Rashi, the whole detail that it could be eaten not only by the Kayanim, but by the wives and the children and the Avodim, is not mentioned. Not by Shlomim, not by Pcher. Not by Shlomim, not by Pcher. What it says there is, the Torah compares it to Shlomim, just like Shlo, and he says, just like Shlomim, you could eat two days and one night, Pcheir could also eat two days and one night. And he doesn't mention at all the comparison concerning who could eat it, that even the wives and the children, etc., could eat it. 
And Rashi is Meshane for Sifri and Gemara, and he's Mesir than Prad Bipirushe. Rashi changes from the source, from the Gemara and the Sifri, and he adds this detail. And that makes a strong question. And it's interesting, he mentioned by Shlomim that detail, and by Abkhair, he does he adds the detail of who could eat it, and Abkhair he doesn't mention, and this is different than the source. If it would be written that way in the source, it's not a teretz either. You could say Rashi, Rashi is not limited to follow what it says there. Rashi writes whatever he has to write on Pshat and Shutash Mikra. But at least he's following the source. It doesn't even say that in the source. So why would Rashi add? Then the Rebbe continues. After this, what the Rashi that we just said, the Rashi quotes the words from the Posik, as we said before, the Posik says, should be to you. So Rashi says, and his Mufarish explains it like this. Rebbe Kiva came and taught like this. That when the Torah adds, the Torah is adding another Yiyye. Something more, it shall be, which means it adds strength to it shall be. What does it mean to add? So Rasha says, you shouldn't say that when the Torah says that you eat that the prayer is like So Rasha said before it's from a shlomim, which means that you could eat it for two days and one night. But maybe that's not what the Posik means. Maybe it means like the chaza sheikh of a korban teda. Korban Teida is also like a Shlomim, but there's a different thing. Korban Teida has a din, you could only eat it for one day and one night. So when the Teida says that it should be like the Chazei Atnuf of Sheikh Ayomin, maybe it means like the Chazei Atnuf of a Korban Teida. And it means that you can't eat it for two days and one night, you could eat it only for one day and one night. That's why the Posik says, it adds, it should be yours. In other words, it's adding to be yours, meaning yours, it's more yours than you think. The fact that you have more time to eat it makes it more yours. So the words the Choyir tells you that you have to compare that the Teira when it compares it to Chose and Sheikh, compare it to Chose and Sheikh of Shlomim, that you could eat it two days and one night and not compare to the Chose and Sheikh of a Korban Teira, which is only one day, one night. That's the second Rashi. Now from Fashtem, we have to understand quite a few things. Number one, we get common problem, as I said many times, is Rasha Maitik the Shem Bala Maimer, nor in Falban as his Mesim and the Vanessa Pirish. But Rasha usually does not mention the person who said this comment that Rasha makes, that where he took it from, doesn't mention names. So, therefore, since mostly he doesn't, those places where he does, the Rebbe says it must be because knowing who said it will add to understanding the Pshat. We need the dance. So in our case, was we do better understanding of the idea as a member of the Zohar Rebbe Kiva. In our case, what do we gain more in understanding Pshat by knowing that who said this Rebbe Kiva? You don't know that. What's the, why does he mention? So in other words, the question is why does he mention Rebbe Kiva? Second question: Was it the Rishus Halosh who brought Rebbe Kiva to limit? He says Rebbe Kiva came and taught. What do you mean he came and taught? Why does he write that? Rasha Gedar was talking about Kitsa Gedar Kiva Kol Makom. Rasha had written very short. Oh, my Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva said, "What's the idea?" Rabbi Kiva came and said, "There more Kiva Maimer Rabbi Kiva since the Fring Gemara." Now the source of what Rabbi Kiva said is since the Fring Gemara. On Dort Nizeich the Aloshim built it Rogel, and there it's also not a common expression. It says Kofat Rabbi Kiva. It says Rabbi Kiva jumped and said this. So it's not like Rasha. Rasha says he came, but there it says he jumped, which is also strange. But different type of strange. But the Rebbe says, even that over there is not hard to understand why the, Gemar, the Loshan there is, he jumped. Why? But darkness, there we understand it. When it speaks about what Rebbe Kivis jumped and said, it's the middle of a discussion. The way it says that they ask this question by the Chachomim in Kerem Beyavne. Then the Rebbe Tarf and Rebbe Tarf has said an opinion. But Rebbe Yisrael really gave the correct Akash of Rebbe Tarf and Rebbe Kiyan Ferenc. And Rebbe Yisrael really Asked the question on Reb Tarfan that Reb Tarfan didn't know what to answer. He's another Arayin the Shaklei. Someone else came into the discussion. Reb Akiva. That's why it says Kofas Reb Akiva. He jumped in the middle of the discussion, and Omer and he said this: what we say here that it's not compared to Chazav Sheikh of of Teida, but it's Shlomim, and we know that from the words Lachoyia. Oh, but we passed the Bepirish Rashi. 
So there we understand why it says a strange Lashon Kovats. But in Russia, what is, how does it fit to say, Bore Bakiva? The Bakiva came. When the Gansa Shakal Vatari met in the month. The whole discussion from there is not mentioned in Russia. If Russia mentioned the whole discussion, you could understand. He says, Bore Bakiva, because also he came in the middle. It's not the same Lashon as in the Gemara in the, in the, that says that Kovats are Bakiva, but there, but, but it's also, but Russia doesn't bring the whole discussion. So as far as Russia is concerned, this is a statement that Bakiva made. So why doesn't he say, Amar Bakiva, why does he say both? Another question. As we're saying from the words we learn out this din that it's eaten for two days and one night. Not like because of a shake of the carbon tater, but it's like shlomi two days and one And we know it from the words the Posik added another havaya, another being to make it stronger that you eat it for two days and one night. Them din lenpen up from Posik Shona Bishoni Parsharei. This is learned out in Parshas Re'i. There's a word from the Posik Shona Bishona. The Rasha is looking for Rasha. Rasha explains Pshat in the Posik, not to go into the details of that Rasha. Rasha says from those words, Lima that teaches us, that the could be eaten for two days and one night. So we know it from there. How does Rasha say here that how do we know it means two days and one night? It's from the Posik L'choyiyah. And another Kasha is Al Derech Pshat. Simple pshat. What makes us say that when the Pesach says it's yours, it comes to add some, something new. Maybe that's what we say, it's yours. You could eat the meat and it's yours. What makes us say that this comes to add a din? The Bible calls us with explanations like this, and I'm going to explain it in the way it seems from what the Rebbe says, even though in the Sikh itself, it's not clear exactly and you can learn different ways, and I'm going to say the way I understand it. So I'm going to explain the pshat here, even before I read it inside, and then try to fill in what I read according to the way I understand it. So the Rebbe starts like this. Rasha has a problem that the posik has something extra. What's the expert? First glance like this. After the Torah says, the meat shall be yours. The meat of the chayr belongs to the kayan. So we know it belongs to the Kayan, so he could do with it. He could eat it. So what adds to the words, tells you it's yours, and he says, how is it yours? Like the Chazayat Nufa Kashayka Yomin. What does that add? We know already that it's yours. So obviously, the far land to Rasha, so Rasha learns, obviously, must be that it's not just telling you, telling you that you're yours, and he describes how it's yours. Telling you a din, that in knowing that it's yours, Means that you could eat it, but it's telling you a din in how you could eat it. In which way you could eat it. So the Torah that's a din. Now I'm going to put in something that doesn't say in the Sikh, but now when it comes to tell you a din, we have two choices here. There are two din in there that might teach you. It might teach you the din that it could be eaten by the Kayonim, their wives, the children, the Avodim. Could be that din. It's a din. The Torah, if it would say just besorim yil lachot should be yours, could be you could eat it, but doesn't mean that they could eat it too. Oh, so when the Torah says it's like the chazayat nufa kashek ayomin, so we have to look what's over there. So maybe this teaches this din that it could be eaten by the kayanim and, and the wives and the children and the avodim. That's one din. There's another din. Maybe it's going to tell you the second thing, not who could eat it, but maybe it comes to teach you a din. How long you could eat it? Again, we don't know. If the Posik says, Sorem Yiloch, it should be years, that means you could eat it, but for how long? So maybe that's the thing that the Torah tells us, that it could be eaten like Shlomim, that you should be able to eat it for two days and one night. It definitely comes to teach us a din, otherwise the words are extra. So Rasha comes to teach a din. So we could have it show maybe one of these two din. Rabbi doesn't say these words that I'm saying, but I'm just putting it in to make understand this better. Now, the Rebbe starts off by saying, maybe it teaches you first. Let's start with e either one of the two. Maybe it comes to teach you the time, how long you could eat it, that you could eat it for two days and one night. So that's the reason why the Torah adds these words. But the Rebbe you can't say that's the only thing. If you're going to say that the Pesach can teach you just this deen, that it tells you the extra words to teach you that this is for two days and one night. Because of a sheikh shlomim, like the cause of a sheikh of the shlomim, that two days and one night. But you can't say that's what the Torah meant only. Why? Is it verstanden? Had understood. Why would the Torah want, if it wants to just tell us you could eat it for two days and one night, why does he have to compare it to a different korban? And from just like that one is two days and one night, this is also. 
Why does it have to tell to tell us that by telling us it's like the Chazayat Why does it have to do that? Ubifrat as Dan is Ashnit Klor. And the truth is, especially, that even if we say it's from these words, that it's written in such a way, not only it's written in a roundabout way, in a way it's not even clear. All it says, it's like the Sheikha Yomin, and that could be Or of Shlomin, which is two days and one night, or it's like the Chazav Sheikh from Toida, which is one day, uh, uh, one day and one night, not two days and one night. Now we don't know. But how do we really know that it means from Shlomim that it's longer, two days and one night, from the extra words, Yilacha. So Gedav Shten Klor it should have said very clear, very short. The Posek should have said, The day that you bring it, and that the next day you could eat it. So that would teach us two days and one night. That day and the next day in the middle, there's a night. Why would the Posek, if the Posek only wanted to tell us that, so why would the Posek say it in a roundabout way, in a way which is not clear, instead of saying it very clear and very short and very clear. Now, let me add, okay, so maybe it's not this din. Maybe the Torah wants to teach us the other din. He compares it to Chose of a Sheikh, not like how long you could eat it, but to who could eat it. That the Koyanim and the wives and the children and the Avodim, maybe that's what they want. But the Rebbe is going to say later that that can't be either, for the same question. Why didn't it say very clear? It could have said, L'chon Nesatim, I gave it to you and to your children and to your daughters. Whatever the Torah, the Torah can make it very clear. So you can't say that either. So you can't say the Torah meant just to teach you the deen of two days, that you could eat it two days and one night, because it would have said it in a different way. The Torah, you can't say it meant the second deen, that it meant to teach you who could eat it, because it would say it very clearly again. Elamai must be, now let's learn inside, that's what makes Rasha say, that means more than one din. That this word comes more. Not two din, it comes to teach two din. That it could be eaten, the cholim could be eaten, number one to who? The keanim, the shame of name, love deim. For the keanim, the wives and the children and the avodim. And the second din, the shnei yom of elai lechot. That it could be eaten for two days and one night. Now, since the Torah wants to tell us these two din, oh, we could understand why the Taylor doesn't like clear because it wants to tell us two dinim. So it tells us by adding these words, Chaseyat Nufa and 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 Sheikayamin. But that's not good enough. What we just said now doesn't answer. Because we just said that from just knowing that it's like cause of a shake, how do we know that it's two days and one night? Cause of a shake could be of Shlomim or could be of Taita. It doesn't say it could be cause of a shake of Shlomim. So it's two days and one night. It could be a Torah, which is one day and one night, not two days. So what do we mean that the Posik is writing it like this to teach us the two dinim? If the second din is not clear in the Posik. So as it'll come out from what the Rebbe says further, that's where the L'choyia comes in. Since the Posik gets L'choyia, so L'choyia means it's giving you extra. So if you metzad, if you combine the fact that it's like Chos of a Sheikh, together with the L'choyia, so Chos of a Sheikh could be either but comes the Chazav Yichayah teaches you that means the longer one. And the longer one, so it's like Shlomim. So now we know how the, what the Posig means. So the Posig writes the Chazav Yichayah because it wants to teach you two dinim. It wants to teach you one din of who could eat it. That's the thing. But not only that, because if it would be only that, it would write that clearly and would be short. So it comes to teach you another din also. Not only one din. And the din is how long. Now in how long, Gufa, we don't know what the Torah means. So that's what the Torah adds, L'choyiyah, so Rashi explains, and the Rebbe will elaborate on further, that the L'choyiyah comes to tell you that it means two days and one night. So now we know why the Torah wrote it in such a way, not writing clearly, because if it's two dinim, okay, writes one concept, and from that we know two dinim. And now the Rebbe continues, see Dalit. Al pizei zeich pashtani for vos Rashi lem tarush lit teima kechoze v'sheik shel truma for L'choyiyah. Now we'll understand why Rashi says that where do we know that it's not like Chos of a Sheikh of Teida, not of Truma, I said Truma, I mean Teida. Shall Teima, you shouldn't say Chos of a Sheikh, Shall Teida, Chos of a Sheikh of the Teida, which is one day and one night, but it's Chos of a Sheikh of Shlomim, which is two days and one night. We learn it out from the Choyia, who feels it with Farlos and the Posse Shon of a Shon in Pasharei. We asked before that there's Posse in Pasharei, which teaches you that the Why doesn't Rasha want to rely on that? 
Before you could say the Pesach said Chazav Mishaik. We don't know if it means from Shlomim or from Toida. So Rashi could have said, but there's a Pesach Shana B'Shana in Pasharei, so we know it means from Shlomim. It's two days and one night. Why doesn't Rashi do that? Now we don't understand, because if we're going to say that we learned that from that Pesach, come to it like this. Amos of Zogn as in Unzer Pesach is Nitok and Limud of Agnar Zman Achilas Pchel. If we'll say that we know from that Pesach, so then in our Pesach the Torah is not saying us, telling us how long you could eat it, because from the Pesach the way it's written. We don't know if it means two days and one night or one day and one night. Because we don't know. When the Teda says it's like Chazav Sheik, we don't know if it's from Shlomim or Teda. So the Posek obviously is not telling us the deen of how long to eat it because the Teda is not clear. But two is coming if you're going to learn like that. So if you know that means the Teda is not telling us what's the deen of how long. So only thing that the Teda is telling us is the deen of who could eat it. That it's Nechal. All it's telling is one thing that could be eaten by Kayanim and then the wives and the children of Adim. And if you're going to not say that the Posse, in no way he's here telling us how long to eat it, so it's only going to tell us who did. But that's a problem. That's a problem, like we said before. Why is the Posse telling us this din with the Remes? If it's going to tell us that it's only by who could eat it, it's telling us one din, why didn't it say it clearly? Why doesn't it say Befeirish clearly? Earlier in the Apostle, it says clearly, that by certain deen, it says that the Ebesheh gave it to the so Rasha says, the Apostle says, there it says clearly, to you and to your sons and daughters. So why didn't it say the same thing here? If it's telling us one thing, if the whole deen of how long we could eat it is really relied on the Apostle in Parashat A, then here it's not telling us. So we're back to one din. If we have them win, we have the cash. If it's one din, why does it say the fetish? They could have said, let's, like it says there, give it to your sons and daughters. And we would know from that automatically, we'll know automatically that it means also to your wives and to your avodim. They go together. So like Rash, the Rebbe says in the order 18, because if it's not a hag, if it doesn't have to be dafke by the could be to the daughters also. It means the women also. So the medic, we know the wives also. So that's what the Rebbe says now. So Rasha can't say that we know it's two days and one night because we rely on there. Because if you mean that, then the Posse here is not saying it. So we're back to saying the Posse means one din. For one din, the Posse would say the fetish. So before we said why we can't say it means one din of how long, because it would say the fetish. Now we're saying it can't be one din to who? was again, why is the fetish? That the word in our post, it comes to make clear that it's eaten for two days and one night. If that's what we're teaching, adds pshat in the words. So, what is the Torah telling us? Two dinim. Say that it could be eaten by Canaan, the wives and the children and the Avodim. Say that how long you could eat that you could eat for two days and one night. So now we get the whole picture together. It wasn't, it's not clear in the way that wherever it's written in the Sikha, but I think this is the Pshat, that each one itself cannot be because it could be written clear. But when it comes to say both Dini, we understand why it's not so clear because it's telling us two Dini. So Taylor would write it in one word, in one expression to teach us the two Dini. But the second din is only there if we learn that L'choye tells us. Because if not from L'choye and we learn it from something else, from Parsha Re'ei, means the Torah is not telling us the din here because here we don't know exactly what it means. And that can be, because back to one din, one din the Torah would write the Fetish. So now we know why Rashi brings both dinim and Taka where Mitzara, we combine L'choye to teach us the second din that it could be eaten for two days and one night is because we have L'choye the beer as blipped over it, but we still don't understand. Can Alpha Bosse Rasha Messiah and Blaze Matem Prat come back to the original Kasha? Why does Rasha by prayer finish off one detail? If we're trying to learn out from here, from Shlomim, two dinim, that it could be eaten by who it could be eaten, and also could be eaten two days and one night. So why when Rasha by Shlomi mentions both, but by prayer he just says so too, the prayer is eaten for two days and one night. He doesn't mention by prayer also that the prayer. Could be eaten by the Kenim and the wives and the children and the Avodim. So the beer with the explanation is like this. It's very Rashi, Kazayat Nufik Shekayomin, on the Choyer, these two pieces of Rashi, 
Rasha explains the words Kachazayat Nuf Kishik Ayomi that this teaches us to compare it to Shlomi. And then the second Rasha where it says Lachoyiyah teaches us that it's not compared to a Toido, which is one day and one night, but it's compared to Shlomi. They're not two separate shotim. It's not like Rasha is writing two pieces, like he does two separate pieces. No, this is ein hemshech. It's all one continuation. It's really one Rasha. Rasha is ogdem limut mshlomim. First Rasha, you learn it. The Torah tells it to learn not mshlomim. And they see him there of that from them zayin divert afapche. And then Rasha says afapche. Whatever is by shlomim, the Torah tells it by pchei also. Azevi dini chazav eshek shlomim azevi zayin dini apchei. That whatever the din is by shlomim. The same thing is by Pchei. On the Noch, Hepton Rasha is up that's waiting. The last words of Rasha, where he says, first is Afa Pchei. Okay. Then he says that what? That you could eat it for two days and one night. When Rasha starts that, he's starting like a new thing. By Shlomim, he said both Dinim. Could be eaten by who? And it could be eaten for two days and one night. Afa Pchei, finished. Stop there. Pchei also like that. That what? That it's both Dinim. That you could eat, who eats it, all the, the Kerenim, his wife, etc. And also it could be eaten for two days and one night. And then Rasha starts another Indian. This that we said, that is eaten for two days and one night. is Rasha says, continues. He just picks that as saying, that part of it we have to explain. That from the word L'choyia teaches us that by a fair, you could eat it two days and one night. First he says the general pshat that the Pesach teaches us these two dinim. And then he says, the second thing that we said is, by Shlomim, that you could eat it for two days and one night. So to Bab Khair, so he says, I want to tell you that how do we know that second din? We only know that from the words of But then Prat, Rasha says, like this detail is not genug the limit from the vertical Chazayat Nuf, Chazayat Nuf, Chazayat Yom Shoshomim. For this detail that it could be eaten two days and one night, it's not enough just because the Torah says it's compared to Shlomim. Because from the words itself, you don't know. It says it should be like a chaz of a sheikh, but maybe chaz of a sheikh of Taida. To know that detail, we have to combine the second words of the Chayyeh. The Taida adds another Havai, another being that it's more means the Taida extends it. Taida extends it. Now we know that the second day, Deen, that it's two days and one night. So the pale we learn it too from this the compared to Shlomim. And one thing is clearly compared, and, and we compare both Shlomim. But the Rash added for the second detail, the way we know that this compared to Shlomim is because of the year. That's what Rasha says. Bakiva came. But in the Kasha, when he came, it should have said Bakiva said. Rasha wants to make clear that when he starts off saying the second thing by Lachoy, that Bakiva said, this is what teaches us. That it's not like a Teda, one day, one night, but it's like a Shlomim. This is not a beginning of not, a new Rasha, it's a new thing. Was then we'll pass in the Lotion Bora Bakiva. If it's a new thing, we mean Bora Bakiva. This is Rebbe Omar Bakiva, should have said. This is Ahemshech, when he meet in the Pirish Bekesha to the Friedi Keberta, the Shnei Yom Rai Lechot. Rasha is trying to tell us that this is Rebbe Kiva comes, comes, meaning comes to what we said before. If it's the middle of a discussion, and Rebbe Kiva adds something, would make sense. Bora Bakiva. And Rasha wants to make it very clear that this, you should realize that this is the Hemshech to before. Rasha answers the question that when we say it means like Shlomim for two days and one night, so right away comes the Kash. How do you know? How do you know the Teda means to compare it to Shlomim for two days and one night? Maybe it's compared to Teda. And Rasha says, and the Kiva comes to, just answers this question. Because they to teach us that it is like Shlomim for two days and one night. So really, the two Rashas really are one Hemshir. But after all this, a Talmud, the smart Talmud, could ask, Nevertheless, the Loshan of the post is not so simple. The Baal the Posik has it, but themselves, Loshan Yilachalachalachalachalachalachalach, yes, and the Posik repeats the same word, almost the same word twice, because it starts off. The Posik said, Upsorum ye loch, the Chazayat Nuf Kshak Yomin, the meat should be to you, like the Chazayat Nuf at Shekha Yomin, and then it says again, Lacho ye, be yours. So it says twice the same lotion. Is Mistabit as long, it makes sense. Ado Sretzich in Zelb Ninik de la Chaske. Is Mashme, that it speaks about the same meaning, but just to make strong. In other words, it says twice to make it stronger.
But them prat is not genug. It comes to teach you that this detail is not enough. The limit from the Vet Chazayat Nufa Kesheka Yom in Shashlomim comes to teach you that what we just said before, that Kesheka Chazayat Nufa Kesheka Yom means like Shlomim, it's not enough just those words. Because we think it means like a Korm Teido, which is only one day and a night. No, I'm sorry. I went to the wrong, to the wrong. No, no. I'm I, I started repeating the same thing we learned before. Let's go back. So, so the Rebbe says here, uh, he raised the last, uh, this, this regard what I just said. So the Rebbe asked the question that someone will ask like this. Since the Pesach passes over the same lotion, so it makes sense that the Pesach comes to strengthen it. Alderich binom in Parshish Lebik is an example where we find it. In Parshish Lach Shteit, Ish Echad, Ish Echad, the Matad says when he sent the 12 Maraglim, he says, Ish Echad, Ish Echad, and one man, one man for a Shevet, by the tribe. Well, that was about Kobodnes HaNisim, Shteit Nosi Echad, Leyem Nosi Echad, Leyem Nisim, it says that every day a different Nosi brought the Korban, the special Kobodnes, it says Nosi Echad, Leyem Nosi Echad, one Nosi for a day, one Nosi for a day. But Rashi is not in the Farish, and Kifal Rosh, and Rashi doesn't explain why the Torah repeats it. Because according to Pshat, the Torah sometimes repeats words to strengthen the union. So that's what we would say. That Posik here says it should be yours, it should be yours. It's just to strengthen it. But what we said before Pshat comes out, that the first part of the Posik, is not a din proti, nor a din kloli. No, but what we said before, it's not a specific din that the Torah is telling us this is like one din. It's a general din. It's coming to tell you not certain din, but we said it tells you two din. It's eaten by who it's eaten and how long it's eaten. But the last word comes to teach us one detail. As we said before, according to Pshad before, the Lachoye teaches one thing. It teaches us only that it could be eaten for two days and one night, like Shlomim and not like Teda, which is not like the same with the first time where it starts off Yeh Lacho. Yeh Lacho means it should be yours and it means two dinim. Now, normally we would learn when the Teda repeats the words, it means the same din to repeat. Elamite, it repeats, makes it stronger. But Rasha doesn't seem to, Rasha doesn't say it. Rasha, it's not to make it stronger. It's to Teach us one thing, not to make stronger the cloud that we said before. If I Rasha Madgish and the Maimon of Zok Rebakivis, Rasha stresses that who said this Rebakivit? Well, the Shito say also because Rebakivit goes according to his own opinion, but there helped me to as the Territory of Doshim Neodam. In order to make a Sigmore, when the Territory uses a double lotion sometimes, is it because Dibro Territory of Doshim Neodam? The Territory speaks like people speak. That's what people say when they want to strengthen something. Or the Torah comes to teach us a new deen. The Bakiva does not hold of this rule that the Torah repeats itself. The Torah repeats something. It's not to strengthen it. According to the Bakiva, these words, extra words, is marbe, adds another deen. The far land, the Torah, the Torah, that's why here too he learns, as the Choyi is a riboy. That when the Torah says is not just to strengthen the first thing, and that's why it's double, there's no such thing according to the Bakiva. And Rasha says the Bakiva hold, and therefore the Bakiva learned that the Lachoye can't teach us one din, a new din that we wouldn't know before without these words. So again, I'm repeating this regard when I started over from that. I thought I read I went to the wrong paragraph. I started saying repeating. So so the Rebbe says that this is why. That according to Rabbi Kiva, we understand why Rashi brings the Rabbi Kiva, because according to Rabbi Kiva, we understand how Rashi, the Pshat that Rashi said, because otherwise we couldn't learn that the Lachoyi comes to teach a new Prat, we, which wouldn't know it's Marbed Din, but Rabbi, when normally we say it repeats it to repeat what we said before, but not a new Din. But according to Rabbi Kiva, who doesn't say, so he, according to him, every word is Marbe, so this is also Marbe. We can't ask a shayla. We can't ask a shayla. We can't learn and we can't ask a learn. We should ask Rabbi Kiva. Lay amrin and dibetere kedoshim odam. So we're coming out here that Rashi learns like Rabbi Kiva. Rashi says pshat and posik based on Rabbi Kiva's opinion. Obviously, Rashi holds like Rabbi Kiva. But how can we say that? Because that's Rashi and Emtona. It's in derech pshat is dibetere kedoshim odam. That Rashi holds that in simple pshat we do accept the cloud that the Torah just repeats itself to strengthen something like people talk. Kedemuchat from them. 
as it's clear from this that the Kiva learned, the Kiva learns when it comes to the Kefal Oshin Isha Echad Isha Echad Lamata. We quoted that before when it says by the Meraglim Isha Echad Isha Echad Lamata. One man, one man to a shade. It says twice the word one man. So the Kiva holds, and where does he hold this? In Yerushalmi, he holds. Means for every shaver there were two. Every shaver one and one because he doesn't learn that the repeat means to strengthen. Rashi learning b'pshuto shemik. Rashi learning simple pshat. As I said, the given place you base but Ragam Rashi holds there were only twelve, and now there are thirty three there because it says ve'elish may some and he only mentions twelve. So we see Rashi does not hold this klal that every time the Torah repeats something. It's coming to teach you a new deen. Sometimes it's a strength. But we said before that the reason that Asher brings the Akiva is to teach us to say that, that since what we said before that the words L'choyi is not strengthening, but the teacher's new deen is because it's not coming to strengthen. But here we see that the Asher also does come to strengthen, not like a Akiva. But the Rebbe is different. Darius talks about 12 Shvot. 12 Shvot means everyone is different. Since everyone is different, so there makes more sense that the Torah stresses, repeats the words to teach each shave that has its own thing, its own person. The father is a kaif for the shechot, shechot. That's why he repeats each person. So there it makes more sense to say that it comes to strengthen the words, not to teach you something new, like Rabbi Kiva. When it says by the Nesim, one Nasi, one Nasi for the day, because each Nasi was separate. Each Nasi had his own thing. So Taylor wants to stress, you should know, it was each Shevet because of what each Shevet is. But by us, here just to strengthen, why should the Taylor want to strengthen what we said before? It says, it should be to you, repeat the post again. It should be to you. And then they said, why would the Taylor want to strengthen it? So here Asha learns it doesn't come to strengthen. Like Rabbi Kiva says, but not that he holds like Rabbi Kiva in every place. Here he holds like Rabbi Kiva because here it makes more sense. It comes, you would th- doesn't come to strength because if it come to strength, the whole pash- shot that we said before wouldn't fit. Because according to Rasha, it's coming to teach you something new that we wouldn't know without it. So he says, yeah, here there's no reason to say it's coming to strength, strengthen it. Maybe here Takarash learns comes to tell something new. What's the new to explain that what I said before that you eat it like Chazayat Tnufa Sheikh Yomin is not from Teda, but from Shlomim, that it teaches you two days and one night. Now the Yenish Teder, the Chesidus that's in this Rash. In Sifri Gemara, it's not a half a minute. In Sifri Gemara, there's even a thought in, to, exp, to comp, compare the Pcher to the Korb Mchatas and Oshem. Because it's an Alamat in the Ton of the Kerenim. Chatas Oshem, when you bring for an Aveira, you bring a Korban, and you give it to the Kerenim, and it belongs to the Kerenim. So it's a Matona. So the Pcher is also like that. And there's a Havim in that we should compare it to Chathos Vosh and learn like this. Just like Chathos Vosh is one day and a night, Pcher is also one day and a night. Just like we said before, that it could be made like Teida, which is one day and a night. There it adds, maybe it's like Chathos Vosh. Rasha doesn't mention that. Rasha just says, don't think it's like a Teida. And it's one day and a night. It doesn't mention anything that it's like, might be, you might think it's like a chatos and ocean. The pastures is a town. What's the simple reason for that? Rasha is explaining the words like the chazayat nufon, the sheik ayomin. That can't be a chatos and ocean. Because they belong completely to the kayan. And here's trying to say that it belongs. It says not completely. Because that's it completely. So you can't say the Torah is trying to tell us that it's Kechazeyat Nufa of Chathas for Oshem. Because then they wouldn't teach you any din. And you can't give it to the others. But in Gemara, when we're looking to see what the Pcheir is compared to, so it's not because of this Pesach Chazeyat Nufa, no Mitzad Asvore. Here, the, the, the Gemara just asks a swara, maybe it's like that. But if we're saying the swara, the, the question comes because of the posik, in the posik, you can't touch it. The Mela Rasha only 
says maybe it's like a toider, and we must say it's not because it says the choyia. Rabbi Yishleimer, as in them, is a do aninish at derech haremes. That must be also a remes. Some hint here. Chayr is a remes of Eden. Chayr is a hint for Eden. Eden are called benip chayr Yisrael. That Eden are the firstborn son of Hashem. Says in Pesach. Chayr Adam. Al Shem Adam Leelion Chelak Hamemal is a nefesh lekis. When we talk about Eden being a chayr, chayr of a person, we're talking about, and the word chayr Adam, the word Adam is in Pesach. It says it's Adam because it came from Adama. But there's another pshat. The Shalos says that it comes from the word Adam Leelion. I am compared to the above, which means there's a part in the Yid which is compared to Hashem. That's the neshama. A chelak Leelak Hamemal, a chelak of Hashem, is a nefesh lekis. That's a nefesh lekis. And when you talk about a pcheir, not of a person, of a yid, but of an animal, even a kosher animal, a pcheir is a nef shabamis. Since it's a pcheir, a pcheir, it's a nef shabamis from the yid, from the ayid. The far as the posik, that's what the posik says, pcheir sheir, kesev, it could be a pcheir of an ox or a sheep or a goat. These are, these, it says in Kundras, that feel other, that there are different categories of the nefesh abamis. Some are compared to an ox, some is like a sheep, some is like a goat. So we have the pcheir odom is the nefesh lekis shame. Pcheir behem is the nefesh abamis. In Rashi is Rashi be pirush al teira darfin bavor in the meshel as I know as pcheir is glad to chatas for Rashi. So Rashi doesn't have to explain that the pcheir that we're talking about is maybe the pcheir of a is similar to chatas for Rashi. Chatas for Rashi is talking about averes. Rashi goes pshutish mikra. Talks about the pashtas, the simplicity of a yid. Is he talking kasal kasal kadai to chafila as a yid mitzad atzma to shaykh to chata to rosh? Not even a have a minute that a yid has a connection to a navera, and we may have to bring a chata to rosh. Negate the nefesh lekis for a yid. When it comes to the neshama of a yid, state the zayir. It says the zayir, the pashtas, the pshutas, very simple. It says on the posik nefesh kis techto. When the Torah talks about the chatos. If a nefesh will sin, so the Zayah says, Tvoha. Tvoha means it's a wonder. How could that be? As I feel in Prinas Nefesh, the Nidirik's the Darge from the Hamish Shemesh Nikola Nefesh Lakis. There are five names for the Neshama. Nefesh Ruach Neshama Chai Yechi, the Nefesh is the lowest. So even when it comes to the, the lowest level of the Neshama, is that me who plead as a wonder? We can't see Duch Fal in an Aveda. How could they stumble and do an Aveda? So the Zayah said, Nefesh Kisech, even the Nefesh can't sin. So the Zayah talks about that the nefesh of the keys, even the lowest level, is not shaykh son of Eir. To do, Rashi no chagresa in Chiddush. Rashi comes a bigger Chiddush. As I feel a pcheir b'heimah, the nefesh abam is from the Eden. Even the pcheir of a person, the nefesh abam, which is, I mean, the pcheir of an animal, which is the nefesh abam is of a person, is mitzad asman yit shaykh son of Eir. It's not shaykh son of Eir. Before we talk about the pcheir odom, which is the nefesh of the keys, there is not shaykh son of Eir. The posseg here is talking about the pcheir of a b'heimah. Which goes in Nefesh Abamis. So there you would think it is Shaykhis. But Rasha doesn't even have that happening. And maybe it's compared to Khatas and Nosham. Because Ayid is not even the Nefesh Abamis of Ayid is not Shaykhis. And he brings in order 46 that in Tzedan Tanya, in Perekalov, in Perek Zayan, that Nefesh Abamis, the Guf Shabi Sol, the Klippas Nega. That the Nefesh Abamis of Ayid is from Klippas Nega, which is Shade, the Shade in Yudor and Shinyon, it's all Taiva It only could make a person who want to do. A taiva desire, which is not the right thing to do, but it's only, but it's allowed. The Yitzhar of a yid, Nefshavam Savi does not push a yid to do something that's Aveira. Nochmer, I feel absorbed, the Gufa Gashmishle, not only the Nefesh of Nefshavam is not Shaykhus to do something forbidden, even the flesh, because the Posse here is talking about the flesh, it says, Psorem Yiloch, the Gufa Gashmishle, the physical flesh, is Zechnit. They're not even necessary to think to compare it to Chathas Noshev Znaveire. Nor, the only thing you compare it to, we compare it to the Shlomim. We compare it to the Shlomim. Those were the Nefesh of the Kis from Naidin, the Yodim and the Shlapsha, in the Nefesh of Amish, in the Guf Gashmi, this led in the Shom of Ayid, Nefesh of the Kis, came down and was dressed, put into a Nefesh of Amish, and into a physical body. His bidea is all the full machin of Shlomim. The purpose is that you should be compared to Shlomim. You should make a Shlomim. Sholom Be'elom. Rashi in Vayikra says that the reason it's called Shlomi because through Korban Shlomi you make Sholom in the world. Rashi goes into it. Everyone has a share in it. So it's Shlomi. 
אז איך אלם הזה התחת נגש מהחומר זה ואל נדיר לאיזבורך. זה לא זה זה יקפר את השלומים, that you should make שלומים in the world, even the gashmias of the world should become holy, it should become בשלמוס, it should be a dear for Hashem. ואוז דאר פרשה יש אלו זין, שלטי מתחות בשק של תום, של תדר. What Russia does have to make sure that we don't make a mistake, that to, not to, to make a mistake as compared to Chathos Roshim, for sure not. So Russia says, even the Behema, the Nef Shabbat Mesav Yid, will not be Shaykhs Naveder. It's only Shaykhs to Shlomi. But there's something that Russia does have to tell us. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't think it's Shaykhs to Teda. Why? Eich Teda is a Korb Shlomi. Teda is a Shlomi. It's one of the c- categories of Shlomi. Ober Inyon is, but the Inyon is, Afriyar is their Odom given in a Masav Shlomi. But what's a Teda? Korm Teda is when you bring a Korm thanking Hashem for saving you from a Ness. First you were in a situation of danger. There is a fun girate v'givor na neif bilti roge v'derech desa. You were saved in an unusual way, in a miracle way. The far bring tera korm teda. That's what he brings a korm teda. Because na vei de ruchnis is, meant as in ruchnis it means, ader mensh hot a greisen nisoyen un shverek abav dasis. But what do you mean there's, you had a sakona. In ruchnis sakona means that you had a test, a very strong test in you serving Hashem. For shtel in sakona chai beruchnis, they put your spiritual life in danger. But you save yourself through a miracle. And what does a miracle mean? An Aveda built to Regila. An Aveda which is not regular to you. Because if it's regular, that becomes your nature. An Aveda which is not your Which is Mesiris Nefesh. Mesiris Nefesh. Mesiris Nefesh. Beyond your understanding. Beyond your intellect. And the far, since that's what the Teda is, is Doha Kasal Kadaita. So you might think, as Alpha people say, even though Aid and the Zone is not Teda, even though Aid and the Zone is not Shaykh to have a chatas rosh, which is a veiris, but when it's a gufa and a nefesh bahamis, it's a shaykh to nisyeim, it's a kayyets of a shakonim. But inside his body and a nefesh bahamis, the shaykh is to have a nisoyen, to have tests, challenges, which bring you to a danger. As they, as the shlomim, the sholom beilam, in such a way that the shlomim, the type of shlomim that you're going to be connected to, which brings shalom in the world, was a two tufis farbunam with the nes, the teda. It's connected to a nes, only through a nes. That only in certain situations this happens, but not regular. If you do regular, you won't it won't work. You'll have the test, and who knows if you'll stand by the test. You have to come on to a special kayak, but there would be such a havam in it. The taka it's a shlomim, and every year is only shaykhs to a shlomim, but it could be that you need special kayaks for this to become a shlomim because we're comparing it to teda, which there was a test, you had a sakona, and you got saved from it with an S. Is Rasha Shail of Erdikas on the title? So Rasha comes and says, No, he rejects this too. For Mr. the Pashtas for Naid, because the simplicity of Naid, live by him, the Amun of Shuta by Shemechot. The Amun of the simple belief, the simple Amun of the Abishter, Hashemechot, the one Abishter, shines by every Eid. But Mela is a Baumna Ita is Borch and Allah Mamodim of Sovim. So it's clear, true by every Yid in all situations, if I say for so much so, as by him is Lachatchil in Tokken, not if in Yonim Shul Heipur, for Nedel Bayaduse, that Lachatchil, you even have no connection to something that's not, that there is a test, testing you whether you, and you might feel that even if you don't pass the test, you're still a Yid, it's not Shaykh Sadat. Those Gufa was a Yid filter, as his Doa Metzir Shal Nisoy, if Velchan Dav Zechiratavan, this fact that the Yid feels that there is such a thing as a test, from which you have to save yourself. Especially you need a miracle to save you from it. Shows that something not Jewish mixed into you. So just like a Chatash Oshom, there is, a Yid has no Shaykhas to it. So by feeling that you have a test and it's hard for you, there's a challenge, also shows that you have some Shaykhas, something that's not Jewish. By because if you're a Jew, if the, everything is Jewish by you, the nature of a the nature that you have no shaykh is anything is no good. And this brings also in the physical sense, as when Naid is via Darf Matar Naid, if he's the way he's supposed to be, Darf and it don't come to You don't need miracles. You don't have a carbon tata. It negates the Matzovah Yakash, which for physical sake. Because Beruchni, as I read, really should not need any miracles because he should not have challenges. So, Bumele, you don't need a special Nes Kayach, Kayach out of the ordinary to overcome. So, in Gashmis comes out the same too, that you don't need to have Nisim for you, Gashmis. 
And the maybe one year the carbon table, I'll be teva is Hashem in natural Hashem is with him. But maybe if Hashem is with him, Hashem Shemrech Hashem Tuchal Yadim Nech Hashem watches you, and Hashem is your 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 shadow on your right side is next to you. Be'ed the Melachayim when there's a shine of the king, then there's always light. The Rebbe should get him all in your from Bona Chayim Zayin. The Rebbe should give everything of children and life and sustenance of a kulam and all of them revichli in a very broad way that you get all this. So this is the Yenish Altera. That Rashi only says you might, what's possible to be, you might be compared to a teda, and a teda means that there is something challenges that you had to overcome in a high special way. So he says that so Rashi says that that's what we might think, because that's something that you overcame it. So chayich is to eat. He said even that's not chayich. The real level of a eat is that you have no challenges, nothing, because every eat but teva does the right thing, and b'meila the only thing that we. Compare it to is to Shlomim. Shlomim is Lashi Sholem Be'elam to bring the Shlemus into the world, the peace into the world, bring down the in the world to make a Dira Betachtainim.